sports provides each of us opportunities to compete, to evolve, to improve, to learn, to grow, and to form personal bonds that can last a lifetime. This year at Troy, championships were pursued and won. The year brought phenomenal highs, incredible levels of competition and mental toughness, pursuit of common goals and triumphs over adversity, contests that were won late, and seasons that ended early. Yet, through uncertain times and strengthened resolve, we at Troy can now and can always say, here's to the school we love. We are Trojans one and all. Trojan Nation, thank you for tuning in to our annual Trojan Tribute. Uh, we're very sorry that we're not able to actually have it inside Trojan Arena, but obviously with the coronavirus uh, pandemic that's currently taking place, doing it virtually uh, is the best way to have it. Uh, I look forward to being able to see all of our great fans and student athletes back on campus as soon as we possibly can. Also, I'd like to take the time to thank uh, all of the men and women on the front lines right now, as well as our first responders, doctors, nurses, uh, and everyone uh, right now that's putting their lives out on the line for the coronavirus. We say thank you and we honor you daily uh, for your service uh, of this great country and what you're doing. At this time, before I turn it over to our good friend Barry McKnight, who will take it away and be the MC, uh, I would like to also say congratulations to our student athletes and what they've been able to do during this unprecedented time. We had the highest GPA that we've had uh, in a long, long time here. What our student athletes did, we talk about this a lot. It's the W4 approach, winning in the classroom, winning on the playing field, uh, winning in the community and winning in the stands. Uh, and I am so proud of our coaches and our student athletes for what they've been able to do. Without further ado though, we will start with our annual Trojan tribute. Barry McKnight, take it away. Thank you very much, Brent, not only for your words tonight, but also for your vision and leadership during these times. Good evening, and welcome to the sixth annual Trojan Tribute. My name is Barry McKnight. Despite the delay and the alternative presentation, we still wanted to bring to all of you the enjoyment of celebrating this past year of Trojan Athletics. First things first, I wanted to remind you all to send in your pictures for this year's Best Dressed Award. Just because you all are not in Trojan Arena does not mean we were going to forget about one of the most coveted awards. Send your pictures to Trojan Athletics on Twitter or Instagram, and voting will happen tonight and tomorrow with winners to be announced tomorrow evening. Now, on to our academic awards. We start the night off with the announcement of this year's Sorrell Award. 
The Sorrell Award is presented annually to the graduating female student athlete with the highest GPA. This year's recipient graduated with a 4.0 GPA while competing as a member of two varsity sports and serving as a member of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee Executive Board. Ladies and gentlemen, Grace Murley. The Clements Award is presented annually to the graduating male with the highest GPA. This year's recipient also graduated with a 4.0 GPA. Ladies and gentlemen, one of last year's co-hosts of Trojan Tribute and men's tennis student, Shaz Pirani. Our last two academic awards recognize the top three team GPAs for both men's and women's sports. This GPA is calculated based off of the 2019 calendar year using spring 2019 and fall 2019 academic data. On the women's side, it was an exceptionally tight race. In third place, with a team GPA of 3.5652 softball. In second place, with a team GPA of 3.5654, women's cross country. In first place, with a team GPA of 3.63, volleyball. On the men's side, in third place, with a team GPA of 2.99, men's golf. In second place, with a team GPA of 3.31, men's cross country. In first place, with a team GPA of 3.47, men's tennis. Each year, Coach Saunacy and staff present an award based off performance, determination, and growth over the student's career in the weight room. These students receive a certificate from the National Strength and Conditioning Association in recognition of achievement in the development of improved athletic performance through strength and conditioning excellence. This year's recipients are, from soccer, Kirsten Edlund. From football, Jarvis Hayes. This year, we have a special award to present in its inaugural year. The Steve Venable Award will be given annually to a track and field student athlete who exemplifies the outstanding work ethic and determination of Mr. Steve Venable, a Troy Athletics Hall of Fame inductee who passed away tragically last year. This year's recipient has consistently excelled on the track in the classroom and in the community during her time in Troy, and truly embodies the determination and desire to succeed we all want to see in our fellow Trojans. The inaugural recipient of the Steve Venable Award is Gemma Finch. The Total Trojan Award, in memory of Jadarius Garner, a Trojan football student athlete, is presented to a student who exemplifies what being a student athlete is about. Managing your time wisely, using all the resources given to you, and is someone that, no matter the outcome, has given their all in the pursuit of excellence. This year's nominees are from football, Jeremiah Jones. From cheer, Madeline Sherrill. From women's basketball, Harriet Winchester. This year, the voting ended in a tie. The awards go to Jeremiah Jones and Harriet Winchester. Jeremiah plans to enter the social work field and work with young children after graduation, and Harriet graduated with a degree in social science and is pursuing a postgraduate degree in physical education.
The Troy Athletics staff is notable for a family attitude and for those who make it their mission to serve the student-athletes of this great institution. These four nominees' names were quick to come up in conversation this year within the Student-Athlete Advisory Committee as individuals who go above and beyond to make the student-athlete experience better. This year's nominees are from the football staff, Director of Player Development, Jamal Smooth-Smith. From Student Athlete Services, Assistant Director, Cody Ash. From Athletic Training, Assistant Athletic Trainer, Will Huck. From Strength and Conditioning, Assistant Coach, Shannon Lemons. This year's recipient, from Student Athlete Services, Mr. Cody Ash. Cody is a lifelong Trojan. He earned his undergraduate degree in 2009 and started working on campus shortly after. He arrived in athletics in 2014 and serves as the academic advisor for football and volleyball and also serves as the tutor coordinator. Thanks again for this huge honor. It's a wonderful joy that I get to go to work every day on the third floor and work with these awesome students. I love each and every one of y'all and working with the student athletes here at Troy is one of the best choices I've ever made. I have a wonderful staff on the floor that I get to work with every day. The third floor is an amazing place and the people I work with just make it that much better. Thanks again for this huge honor. Whoa, excuse me, <clears throat> my mistake. <clears throat> The Heart of a Warrior Award is given annually to a male and female student athlete nominated by head coaches. When we think of what it means to have the heart of a warrior, we're reminded of the hero's journey. In the journey, there are highs and lows, but at the end, our hero stands triumphant of their conquests. These nominees exemplify just that. First, our male nominees. From track and field, Quinnist Bishop. From football, B.J. Smith. From golf, Eli Charon. And the winner is B.J. Smith. B.J. remained a strong vocal leader after a season-ending injury last season. He has earned his degree in psychology and will return to the field this upcoming year as a graduated senior. And now, for our female nominees. From soccer, Brianna Shackelford. From volleyball, Cheyenne Hayes. From golf, Anna Claire Little. From women's basketball, Kate Rogers. And the winner is Anna Claire Little. Anna Claire maintained a strong will and perseverance after being involved in a serious car accident that nearly took her life. She is an exercise science major who will return to the course next year as a junior. The Strength of Character Award, named for Steve Dennis, a former Troy Athletics Director, is presented to an individual who consistently exemplifies the traits of a true leader and represents Troy University with honor and pride. Those who are strong in character realize that in this world, it is our choices that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. It's not often enough that we recognize those of integrity, but the following nominees represent the true meaning of the word. The nominees for this year's Strength of Character Award are from women's tennis, Mateja Mihaljevic. From soccer and softball, Grace Murley. From football, Adarius Wesley. And the winner is Grace Murley. Grace lives out the definition of an amazing teammate and all-around student athlete. 
while serving her peers as a member of Student Athlete Advisory Committee, being a team leader on two varsity sports teams, and maintaining a 4.0 GPA through graduation, Grace has continued to impress support staff, coaches, and fellow students with her kindness and strength. What's good, Trojan Nation? This is Damian Willis, the class of 2019. I'm coming to you from Cincinnati, Ohio. I want to congratulate tonight's award winners for their hard work and dedication they put in to receive this award. Troy University will always have a special place in my heart because not only did it allow me to reach my dream, which is the NFL, but it also allowed me to build relationships and friendships with others to use outside of college. I will always represent Troy University well. No matter where we at, we will always be Trojans one and all. Hey Trojan Nation, this is Fatih Kano, class of 2017, coming to you from Birmingham, Alabama. Just wanted to say congratulations to all the award winners tonight and to all the seniors graduating this semester. I hope you all are enjoying Troy as much as I did and they are staying healthy, safe and optimistic in this current situation. Just know that we will be back to campus soon. Above all, just remember, it doesn't matter where we are, we are always Trojan one and all. Go Trojans! As we move into our athletic performance-based awards, I wanted to take a moment to recognize all of the seniors who have just finished their last year of competition. This year's senior class was indeed a special one who worked diligently to enhance the standard that is Troy Athletics. We thank you for your time, your blood, sweat, and tears, and all that you brought to this department. We sure will miss you. As a reminder, our athletic performance-based awards are nominated and voted on based off of the 2019 season, meaning for fall and winter sports, basketball, football, soccer, cross-country, volleyball, cheer, votes are based on this past year. For spring sports, baseball, golf, softball, tennis, track, Votes are based on the last year, March through May of 2019. We do this to ensure all nominations and voting is fair for all teams and students. This event is typically hosted in the middle of your seasons, and we want to ensure your season in entirety is taken into consideration. Being great in competition is difficult enough, but add the pressures of being a new student and you're in a very different atmosphere. Whether a true freshman or a transfer student, these nominees have proven their excellence in athletic achievement over the past year. The nominees for Male Newcomer of the Year are from football, Del Pettis. From basketball, Des Williams. From baseball, Logan Cerny. From baseball, Dalton Sinkfield. From golf, Will McFadden. And the winner is Logan Cerny. Logan became the fourth Trojan in six seasons to earn freshman All-American honors. The center fielder finished with a 267, 366, 495 slash line with 12 doubles, four triples and 42 RBIs, and his nine home runs were the most by a Troy freshman since 1997. Cerny also stole 13 bases on 16 attempts and did not commit an error all season. Hey guys, thank you so much for naming me Male Newcomer of the Year. It's an honor and a blessing. I cannot thank Coach Smart and Coach Gerke enough, you know, to put me in this position I am to succeed. Um, I can't wait to be back out there with my teammates again next year. Um, but yeah, stay safe. Go Trojans. And now for the nominees for the female newcomer of the year. The nominees are from basketball, Alexis Dye. From golf, Nicole Laura. From soccer, Melissa Kuya Strobel. From softball, Leanna Johnson. From volleyball, Julia Brooks. And the winner is Leanna Johnson. Leanna was named the Sun Belt Freshman of the Year, first team all Sun Belt, 
an NFCA South Region second team after posting a record-breaking freshman season. She ended the season with 231 strikeouts, 25 victories, and seven shutouts, ranking her and Troy's top 10 single season records in all three categories. Thank you for this honor. It means so much to me. And thank you to my coaches for giving me the opportunity to play at Troy. Um, I love representing Troy and getting to compete on the field with my teammates. The seniors I played with last year are special people and I know they will be in my life forever. Um, I loved being able to compete with them and just learn from them. Even though the season didn't end how we would have liked for it to, it was still a fun and exciting year. As we move on to the coveted Athlete of the Year Awards, I wanted to remind you all to send in your selfies for the Best Dressed Awards. Send pictures to any Troy Athletic social media outlets and voting will open through tomorrow evening. Now, to recognize the student athletes who have excelled on the playing surface this past year. These athletes have come up in big moments and have been a constant for excellence. And now, for the nominees for Male Athlete of the Year, those nominees are from football, Caleb Barker. From baseball, Chase Smart. From track and field, Matthew Likely. From golf, Connor Futrell. From tennis, Pelayo Antunia. And the winner is Matthew Likely. Matthew qualified for the NCAA East preliminaries in the 200 meter, 4x100 meter, and 4x400 meter relay and advanced to the NCAA championships in the 200 meter with the second fastest time in school history. He helped set the school record in the 4x100 meter race in 39.47 seconds and the school's third fastest time in the 4x400 meter relay in 3 minutes 8.9 seconds at the NCAA East preliminary. He ran the NCAA championship 200 meter semifinal race in 20.74 seconds. Hello Trojan family. I just want to start off by saying thank you for selecting me as this year's Middle Trojan Athlete of the Year. I would like to thank Coach Davis and my teammates for getting me closer to my dream. I also would like to thank my parents for the endless support throughout my life. Thank you once again for this award and one Troy. Now the nominees for the Female Athlete of the Year. The nominees are from basketball, Japonica James. From volleyball, Cheyenne Hayes. From track and field, Gemma Finch. From soccer, Kirsten Edlund. And the winner is Gemma Finch. Gemma won three gold medals at the 2019 Sunbelt Indoor Championships, including a then school record of 2 minutes 10.84 seconds in the 800 meters. She also took gold as part of the 4x400 and the DMR. Finch reeled in her fourth Sunbelt title of 2019 with a first place finish in the 800 meter at the Outdoor Championships. She set the school record in the 800 meter at the Florida Relays with a time of 2 minutes 8.99 seconds. Hi Trojans, I would just like to say a huge thank you for awarding me with Sportswoman of the Year. It's an absolute honor. It's crazy to think that five years ago I arrived in small town Troy, Alabama as a freshman not knowing what my time here would bring. To look back and realize what my team and the rest of Troy Athletics has achieved while being a Trojan is incredible. Thank you to the track and field coaches, athletics staff and my teammates and family and as always, go Trojans. The final athletic performance based award of the night is the One Troy Team Award. This award is given to the best team. These teams have been conference champions, recorded records, and are just scratching the surface of their future potential. The nominees for the Team of the Year awards are women's basketball, soccer, women's indoor track and field, and volleyball. And the winner is women's basketball. 
This team won the Sun Belt Conference regular season title, ranked 13th in the final Collegiate Insider Mid-Major Top 25 poll, also received votes in the final USA Today Top 25 Coaches poll. This marks the first time in program history that the Trojans have been ranked in the final poll of the season. The 16 Sun Belt wins set a program record while also being the most a conference team has earned since the 2017-2018 season. The Trojans concluded the shortened season with an overall record of 25 and four, also a program record. Hi, it's Coach Rigby, your head women's basketball coach from Troy University. On behalf of Troy Women's Basketball, we're humbled and honored to receive this award of Team of the Year for Trojan Athletics. You know, at the beginning of this year, this team set the goal to do things that have never been done before. They set three specific goals to accomplish that. First, they wanted to win the Sun Belt Championship outright. Next, they wanted to win the Sun Belt Tournament Championship. And finally, they wanted to get in the NCAA Tournament and make a run. This team accomplished everything that opportunity allowed them to compete for. We're very honored to have this award of Trojan Team of the Year to remember this year by. Thank you and go Trojans. Hey Trojan family, my name is Caitlin Ramirez. I'm a former women's basketball player from 2015 to 2017. Yes, I was a part of the team that won it in 2016 and 2017. Yes, I was the most outstanding player of 2017. Not gonna toot my own horn, but. Dude, dude. I personally just want to take the time to congratulate Troy Women's Basketball Team for being the team of the year. Congratulations to y'all. Congratulations to the coaching staff. I know it's been a long time coming. It's been endless hours, endless practice. Um, medicine ball runs, they're no joke. Championship runs, they're no joke. But congratulations to every single one of y'all. Y'all deserved it. I remember, once a Trojan, always a Trojan. Go, Troy. Our final award for the night is the Trojan Way Leadership Award. Here to give us a few words on this award, our Athletics Director, Brent Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final award of the night, the Trojan Way Leadership Award. However, before we go into this, I want to say congratulations to all of our student athletes uh, on the awards that they won. What an impressive group uh, of leaders on and off the field of play. Wow, I am so privileged to be your Director of Athletics. With this, we have one award left. It is the Trojan Way Leadership Award. This award uh, means a lot. It's the last award that we will be giving tonight. And there's a reason for that. This award uh, exemplifies what it is to be a, a Troy Trojan. It is my honor and privilege to be able to award this. This recipient of this award has overcome a lot of obstacles. This person was hurt just recently, was able to come back fully. This person is also the president of our SAC group at Troy, as well as our national representative for the NCA, as well as for the Sunbelt Conference. This person's also been a Sunbelt All-Conference winner. And to be quite honest, over the last year or so, I have really gotten to know this person and she brightens my day as well as everyone around her. With that, I would like to award Alexis Garrett with the Trojan Way Leadership Award. Congratulations, Alexis. You made a difference. Good evening, everyone. My name is Alexis Garrett. I hope you all are staying safe and sane and adjusting to the new normal. I want to applaud you all on how you have faced the last few months with courage. Although our seasons were seemingly snatched from under us, I am a firm believer that this storm will pass and will make the times to come so much sweeter and humbling. I want to take a few moments to thank all of the Troy University athletic staff who have spent countless hours to ensure that we student athletes are well taken care of. To those who lend their ears and shoulders when times get tough, and to those who celebrate us when we win big on and off the field, you are very much appreciated. I would love to give a few special shout outs to the men and women who have mentored me the past four years and kept me on track and for that, I am extremely grateful. Thank you, Coach Mark Davis, Coach Michelle Clayton, Coach Elliot Blount, Coach Ronaldo Radlin, Coach Camille Alexander, Miss Leah Brundage, Mr. Santiago Pinzon, Miss Hillary Parkin, Miss Joandria Jarena Levy, and Mr. Jamal Smith. 
and the array of extended family at my home away from home. Thank you. These past four years have been rewarding, life-changing to say the least. Those who know me will tell you that I am like day and night from the time I arrived on campus until now, and I would have to agree. I have fallen on my face plenty of times during these past four years, but I am learning that life will use your, shortcom your shortcomings to make you a better individual. Thank you for entrusting me to lead my peers, whether as a SAC president or as an NCAA Division I National SAC member, to be an advocate for student athletes here and everywhere. Thank you for allowing me to be a friend, a teammate, a sister, a student, and all of the other things you all have entrusted me with. You have prepared me for the years to come. As I prepare to walk across the stage to receive my Bachelor of Science in Hospitality, Sport, and Tourism Management, I can only hope that my career will impact the lives of others how Troy Athletics has impacted mine. I am happy to announce that I will be graduating magna cum laude and I will be the first person in my family to receive a college degree. I will be pursuing a master's in business administration post-grad and headed back to the track for one more adventure. As I finish, I want to leave you all with a few nuggets that have gotten me through this life. Number one. 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Give it all you have, when, even when no one is watching. Give 100% on and off the field. Number two, respect yourself and respect others. Respect their time, respect their opinions, and treat others the way you will want them to treat you. Number three, finish the rep. At practice, in the weight room and life finish. And lastly, it's not about how you start, but how you finish, believe me. Thank you, Miss Sandy Atkins, for all that you have done for me and always being supportive. And thank you, Director Brent Jones, for thinking of me and selecting me for this award. I could not be any more grateful. Go Trojans. Thank you for everybody who participated in putting this award show together. Thank you to everybody on the staff, all of the coaches, all of the support staff, all of the fans who helped make this past season a rousing success. And thanks most of all to the student athletes for their hard work, perseverance, blood, toil, tears, and sweat for making Troy Athletics 2019-2020 a truly memorable season. I'm Barry McKnight, and for all of us here at Troy, here's to the school we love. We are Trojans, one and all. Good night, everybody.